Why hello there everyone, I'm the Kumo Sensei, and it is time for the anime Crunchyroll Wars for 2022. And there's a lot of backlash from what I hear, but anyhow, let's see the awards itself and I'll give you my thoughts afterwards. And here's the article, meet the winners of this year's anime awards. And oh boy did this one have a lot of backlash, but uh, let's watch this. Winner for anime of the year. Demon Slayer, or probably Attack on Titan, or Jujutsu Kaisen. Attack on Titan it is. Best boy. Let's see who this is. Best boy goes to... Boji from Ranking of Kings. That's a fair argument. I'll, I'll, I'll let that one go. I'll stand by that one. There's a lot of good male protagonists this year, so... Or well, last year. Best girl. Okay, let me go back a little bit. Okay, uh, let me say something real quick. When it comes to best girl, this category normally gets everybody salty. But let's just see where this goes. Oh boy. Nobara Kugizaki from Jujutsu Kaisen. There's an argument to be made, but I'm gonna just. Best fight scene? Oh, best protagonist. Otokawa from Autaxi. <laughs> yeah, we should just let that one slide. I like this. I like Autaxi a lot. Best fighting scene? Demon Slayer or Jujutsu Kaisen? I bet you it's one of those two. Jujutsu Kaisen, I was right. When it comes to stuff like this, I'm... And it just pretty much ends here, but... Like I was saying, though... It's pretty much... Predictable, in a way. It's kind of funny because this video doesn't include all the awards. So let's go down and let's see what they actually, you know, cut off. Anime of the Year. Best Boy. Okay, they got those. Best Girl, they got that one. Best Protagonist, they got that one. Best Antagonist, Aaron Yeager. Attack on Titan Final Season Part 1. Now, from what I hear, there was a lot of Attack on Titan, Jujutsu Kaisen, and Demon Slayer. So let's see. Best fight scene, Jujutsu Kaisen, which they already shown that in the video. Best director, Baku Kinoshita from Odd Taxi. That one, I don't know anything much about directing, so we're just going to let that one go. Best animation, Demon Slayer Kimetsu no Yaiba, the Mugen Train arc. Not the movie, but... I'll let that one go. Demon Slayer has really good animation, so it's kind of hard to debate this one, to be fair. Best Character Design, Tadashi Hiramatsu from Jujutsu Kaisen Core 2. There's actually a lot of arguments for this, but honestly, character design is a really, you know, debatable subject. So it's kind of hard to, you know, pinpoint it. Best Score. Yuki Kajiura and Go Shina from Demon Slayer, Kimetsu no Yaiba, Mugen Train Arc. I don't... I mean, OSTs and music is always good, but I don't really know how to judge it myself. Best VA Performance, Japanese, Yuki Kaji from Eren Yeager, Attack on Titan Final Season Part 1. I... I don't know how they choose these, but... I mean... Hey... Congrats, I guess. Best VA performance in English? David Wad. I know Ske Shindo. Adam. Skate the Infinity. I don't really watch English dub like that. So, yeah. I'm just trying to, you know, show you the awards and what won and what not. And then I want to give you my thoughts on this. Best opening sequence. Boku no Senso. Shinsei Kamatechan. Is that, I think that's how you say it. Attack on Titan Final Season Part 1. 
Best Ending Sequence Shiro Gane Lisa Demon Slayer Kimetsu no Yaiba Mugen Train Arc Best Action Demon Slayer again Kimetsu no Yaiba Mugen Train Arc Best Comedy Komi Can't Communicate Best Drama To Your Eternity Best Romance Hori Miya Best Fantasy That Time I Got Reincarnated as Slime Season 2 This is the category that got everybody riled up Because everybody said that Mushiko Tensei Should have won this category And you know There is so much debate going on with this man I'll, I'll break it down But right now I'm just going to you know, Snowball what won And here's the last category Best Film, Demon Slayer, Kimetsu no Yaiba, The Movie, Mugen Train. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna give you my honest thoughts about this. There is a lot of Demon Slayer, Jujutsu Kaisen, and Attack on Titan on this list. Yeah, I think it's pretty obvious. I'd say about half, about two-thirds, maybe, is literally just those three series. And it's kind of... It's insane, man. I don't know. There is so much backlash on this year's uh, Crunchyroll Anime Awards, but there was mo there was also some last year. But I don't know what to think. I'm kind of I don't know if confused is the word to say it, but I'm just kind of uh, surprised. But anyhow, though, tell me what you think about this year's Crunchyroll Anime Awards for 2022, and I would really like to hear your opinions because I honestly don't know how to feel about this. But anyhow though, I'm the Kumo Sensei, and yeah, I upload random things every single day. And with that, that's really about it. See ya.